Did Xiaomi just find its way into the EV world? Xiaomi's aiming for pretty much everything under the sky now. They unveiled the first ever electric vehicle that can change the landscape of the automobile world. The EV giant Tesla will have to think hard to shackle this beast. Xiaomi's latest experiment is here to challenge some big fishes in the EV world. Intriguing, right? Well, let's check out the details. The aim of this smartphone maker is nothing less than to become one of the top five automakers in the world within the next 15 years. Even though the EV market is experiencing distress right now, Tesla is one company that can withstand such stress. If Xiaomi is daring to challenge them to grab the top, one thing's for sure, Xiaomi has something big in the basket. Now, what's in the basket for the EV market? Xiaomi named its first electric car the SU7. The time Xiaomi entered the EV market was critical. The EV world is undergoing a stagnant phase and sales growth has slowed globally, triggering a price war. But if they've planned their arrival at such an hour, there must be a strategy behind it. The chief executive of Xiaomi and the Thor who lined up the beat Elon Musk, Lei Jun, announced during the launching of SU7 that the standard SU7 model would be priced at 215,900 yuan. With an investment of 1.4 billion, this outcome is enormous. And guess what? The company received over 50,000 orders within the first 27 minutes of sales. This significant entry is nothing less than insane. But the question arises, can SU7 hold on to the battle? The features of the car exhibit a green signal for any such doubts. This ambitious car, designed under the guidance of Lei Jun, represents some amazing advanced technologies that reflect their foray and determination into the electric car industry. This car comes in two variants. A standard version that can fulfill the needs of regular customers and a more powerful SU7 Max, which is expected to be a monster. The SU7 Max features a dual motor all-wheel drive system. This particular feature can deliver an appreciable 664 horsepower and a top speed of 265 kilometers an hour. It can also accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 2.7 seconds. The speed literally outperforms the Porsche Taycan Turbo with respect to speed. What impresses the auto market more is this range. The vehicle boasts an excellent 800 km range on a single charge. One of the main drawbacks of EVs is the range, which makes it hard for customers to search for charging stations too often. What makes it even worse is the lack of infrastructure for charging stations, but this impressive range will settle long-lived critics. What made it possible is its 101 kW battery. It was the brainchild of Xiaomi and Cattle a battery manufacturing company. It's a nickel manganese and cobalt battery, which is a mixture of compatibility and performance. The capacity is said to be 101 km per hour for an 800 km range. The EV world was expecting Tesla to bring this battery to reality, but kudos, Xiaomi just did it. Everything's great till now, but when it comes to charging, nothing can beat this marvel. The battery supports rapid charging, gaining 510 km of range in just 15 minutes, which is said to be insane. No one would have come across a car that can add 220 kilometers of range in five minutes. This supercharger will definitely stand out in the market. As we move on to the standard version of the SU7, it's equipped with a single electric motor which allows a rear-wheel drive setup. Its 220 kilowatt motor can generate around 300 horsepower and 400 newtons of torque. It's comparatively slower than the max. It can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in around 5.3 seconds. When it comes to range, we should expect less. That's a range of 668 km on a single charge provided by a 73.6 kilowatt hour from a smaller battery pack, which is cheaper. At the same time, the battery is equipped with advanced technology integration, just like the SU7 Max. Both of these technological marvels are built on Xiaomi's new Medina platform, which is slitely bigger than the Porsche platform. The 105 litre front and 517 litre long boot are examples of how crucial the design was. Now, what are the surprises awaiting inside the car? The car's interior is an amalgamation of luxury and utility. Every component is selected for a specific motive. The expensive glass area grabs the attention first. It provides an extensive view that any passenger wishes for. The Xiaomi SUV has a 16.1 inch central control screen with 3K resolution and a 7.1 inch instrument cluster for the driver. The Navigation can be viewed on a 56-inch heads-up display which basically covers the entire windscreen. A 25-speaker system with Dolby Atmos enhances the sound experience. The design team has given prime importance to safety measures as well. The paramount feature when it comes to safety in the SU7 is an armoured cage type steel aluminium hybrid body with multiple airbags. A comprehensive suite of active safety features is also provided and it gained a 5-star rating in every safety category. Now, will the self-driving capabilities of the SU7 be a banger. 
We don't doubt it. With automated driving technology, Xiaomi is taking SU7 to another level. It's where Xiaomi can overhaul Chinese giants like BYD. The self-driving capabilities are powered by Xiaomi Pilot, which uses two NVIDIA Orin X chips with 508 tops of computing power. This will receive power from a combination of one 3mm wave radar, 11 HD cameras and 12 ultrasonic radars. Comes with highway driving, self-parking and more. The BAIC Off-Road Vehicle Co. factory in Beijing has started trial production of SU7. Thousands of vehicles have been rolled off the line. The Xiaomi SU7 is currently undergoing testing and is expected to start mass production in the first half of 2024. But once Xiaomi hits the parking lot of customers, who's supposed to suffer? The giant car makers will sweat a lot in the coming months, but the name that echoes the most is Tesla. The SU7 that was unveiled in Beijing is the effort of Lei Jun and his company. It took them three years to mold this beast. In the three years of developing this car, my biggest realization is that making cars is extremely difficult, said Lee Jun. If he overcomes that difficulty, this Thor is expected to beat Elon Musk and his favorite child, Tesla. Innovative technology and modern architecture give Xiaomi the upper hand over the traditional Tesla model. Prices will play an important role in the battle between Tesla and Xiaomi. As Tesla also has a production plant in China, the fight will be intense. As of now, Xiaomi is aiming at the Chinese market alone. It'll put a lot of pressure on Tesla to hold onto its position in the Chinese market. The relevance of the Xiaomi brand in China will play a big role in the EV market. The Beijing-based company is already loved by Chinese households due to its growing popularity in smartphones and home appliances. Xiaomi never fails to impress China through its affordability and sleek styling. That history will definitely repeat for SU7. But how will Xiaomi deal with the EV crash in China? The Chinese EV market's not the same anymore. It's overcrowded with local and foreign players. The price war has already wounded the Chinese EV market a lot. According to the records posted by BYD, their annual profits have grown but slowed towards the end of last year. Shanghai-based electric car maker NIO lowered their forecast for first quarter deliveries last week as China is experiencing economic weakness. Even Tesla has been lowering the prices of their EVs by thousands of dollars in recent months as local rivals like BYD are slashing the prices of their cars. The battlefield is already filled with blood, but the Chinese market hopes that this prospective entrant might bring a new layer of strategy to revive the EV market. It's an alarming call for all traditional car makers, including Tesla. If they continue to follow the price battle strategy, a setback from the SU7 will be inevitable. The Xiaomi SU7 offers nothing less than impressive performance, specifications, and advanced technology integration. SU7 is ready to position itself as a strong competitor in the Chinese EV market. Now it's time for the traditional car makers to think hard about shackling the SU7. Don't you think SU7 will grab the power real soon? Comment down your opinions below, click the like button, and please follow us by subscribing for more in-depth automotive news on the latest industry advances and innovations. Until we meet again.